Hello, hello everyone. Just a really quick update from me. Um, it's Friday afternoon in the UK. Um, obviously everyone's joining from different places all around the world so it would be different times for you. But I just wanted to do a really quick update and tell you about a couple of things. Um, first thing is, is I've just come off an hour ago for the phone from Mel Kay. I love my chats with Mel Kay. We get on really, really well. And um, thanks for everyone that's joining me. Thank you. Um, we get on really well. She's a very, very genuine person, obviously completely brilliant, um, but very, very genuine as well. Um, so we were talking about how she met President Trump um, this week, which was really exciting of her. And this is contagious because, um, you know, I made a joke about it, about, oh, I now know someone who's, you know, spoken this week to Donald Trump. And it's not that you're idolizing these people and everything. But when you're meeting people that are on a really high vibration, it's contagious. So we spoke a lot about how... Um, uh, about how she met Donald Trump, how she's keeping herself positive, um, about how I'm keeping myself positive. And that's really, really important for all of us because quite a lot of us, I think, have been experiencing quite, whether you want to call it low vibration, negativity, a lot of angry people <laughs> um, over the last couple of weeks. So surrounding yourself with really positive people is really important. So the Mel K chat is on my BitChute channel. So as soon as this has gone live, I can't put the links in until it's gone live, but I'll put all the links below as always. But you should all know where to find my BitChute channel now, the links under all my other videos. And it's also on my Edwards.life video. And I'm just working with my IT guy to try and be able to stream live stream because you can't live stream to BitChute. So I wanna, I'm just working so I can live stream to my Edwards.life video. So I'm really hoping, um, Catherine Edwards Live website. So I'm really hoping that that will go live. Oh, that's a bit bright. That that will go live next week. I'll let you know when it does because um, there's these chats with Mel. I really want to go live, but I can't risk at the moment my YouTube channel being taken down yet again. I'm not seeing any comments, anyone. Again, I don't know why they won't let me see the comments. I know um, David Nina Rodriguez and some other people are having these problems it's very frustrating because I just can't see the comments and I do these lives because I want to be able to interact with people. But when you can't see the comments, it's just really frustrating. I don't know why they do it. Anyway, the sooner I can go on um, my channel live, um, the better. I was just trying to send you feedback to YouTube to say, why can't I see the tonnets, but it's not working. So sorry, I really wanted to say the comments today. That's why I want to do the lives to interact with you, but it's not to be. So what have I been doing this week? Um, I've had a real treat this week. On Monday, I spent with my good friend, Andrea, who is helping me with some bits and pieces, some ideas, some technical issues and everything. And then today I've spent with my friend Susie, who's driven all the way down from London and is now stuck in horrendous traffic getting back. Sorry, Susie. But it's so lovely to meet up with people that really uplift you. And we've been for lovely dog walks. We've sent, um, spent time in the, with my, all my animals, even though it was pouring to rain today, hence my awful hairstyle. Susie bought me these beautiful crystals. Honestly, they're so special, all these EMF um, absorbing crystals and also some beautiful um, vegan muffins, which were to die for. Um, so, yeah, yet again, I'm so sorry I can't see the chat. It's just really uh, annoying, but not a lot I can do about that. Um, so my message from that is if you're feeling down at all, spend some time with your friends, with whoever it is, that your family, your animals, your trees, whatever it is that feeds your soul, because it's amazing how quickly that lifts your vibration up. I've really, really benefited it from today, because much as I love doing this stuff and sort of spreading my passions and, and my thoughts and my work, it can be quite exhausting because you get an amazing amount of um, trolls on YouTube in particular. And it's really quite fascinating to see. I mean, I'm very much the person, if I don't like something, I just wouldn't watch it. And I'm absolutely not everyone's cup of tea and nor some of my guests. But 
you know, you're choosing to go on someone's channel. So if you do that and then you choose to put negative comments, it's not too bad for me. But, you know, some of my guests, you know, Mel Kay is an example. She just puts so much time into effort into sharing this information and no one's forced to watch her. And then you put the comment, the video up on BitChute and immediately you're getting these hideous comments and everything. And I just think, what is wrong with people? But um, anyway, I just think it's really bad because it drags people's vibration down. So what I would say to people like that, if you see sort of negative things, don't let people get you into that cycle of moaning because it can be quite contagious and none of us feel good when we slip into that vibration. So this week, I've worked with a lot of animals um, and there's lots of synchronicities. So one of my other friends and clients, Claire, I went to help her with some things with her horses. And what was beautiful is I realized she was in an area, um, Claire's very, very awake, but it hasn't necessarily got a, um, a lot of support in her immediate friendship group with where she's at and everything and I realized and when I went to see her and her beautiful horses that she does such a good job looking after we took we did some really good tips and techniques for her horses to take them on to the next level and also herself and then I realized some of my other friends that I've met through doing this work live just down the road from her so they've now connected and they're getting on brilliantly working on some projects together so it's amazing how the universe works to actually put people together and you'll find your tribe if you look for it. So this is one of my other messages for the week. Ask. Ask the universe, your angels, God, what nature, whatever it is, your friends. If, you're, if you need something or you want something to move you up to the next level or to change something in your life, when you ask, you'd be surprised for where the answers come from. So it's a really important lesson for all of us, particularly those of us that are empath empaths, <laughs> it's Friday afternoon, and are doing a lot for other people, it can be really hard for us to ask for help ourselves. And there's so many people that are really willing to help that it's absolutely um, important that you do ask, and you would be surprised where that help came from. So as I said, this was a really good example where I'd gone out for one purpose, to help with her horses and then when I went there it became very apparent that there were some really like-minded people that I could introduce her to locally and they've had the most amazing week connected brilliantly really doing some positive things for the community so you can't plan these things but if you put that message out there and you're very clear about what you want the universe will deliver and this goes on a bigger global scale I was speaking to Mel today. One of the main things I was speaking about um, with her is obviously she met President Trump this week, which was fantastic. But also I listened to one of the um, amazing Polly videos this morning. I haven't listened to much over the last couple of weeks at all, but amazing Polly is ridiculously amazing. Her knowledge, her positivity, the way she comes across. And she sort of summed up far more eloquently than me exactly what she'd been feeling. Um, and what she'd been feeling was the fact that let's stop talking about this rubbish about what's going on. I won't mention the trigger words here um, because I'm on YouTube, but let's focus on what we can do. So instead of just getting dragged in, let's focus on creating the future that we've all want. And so let's just not participate in any of the crap anymore. Let's just not, you know, if, if you're working for an employer or any organization or a college or a school and they're asking for passports they're asking for these they're asking for tests just say no and write to them and say look you know are you going to take liability for any health effects that i might have over the next however many years um by enforcing this on me and i can guarantee they won't they won't admit liability so start taking matters into your own hands support the businesses near you that are not insisting on this ridiculousness. If you haven't got any, um, then set some up with some of your friends. So some of my friends, um, they're looking at setting up some of the community pharmacy sort of stuff for so supplying organic food to local people. So there's so much you can do. Um, other friends have just been helping each other out with each other's animals. Other friends have been looking at good sharing good resources. And I'm trying to share more good resources on my website 
about where to get these template letters to query what your employers might be asking you to do. Because when you push back on the boundaries, you find those boundaries were not nearly as solid as you thought they were. So it's really empowering. And if you find something that works, then share it with all your friends because we don't all have to reinvent the wheel. We've all got different skills. And um, yeah, so there's some so many positive things happening at the moment. Um, a lot of fear mongering and, and some of that fear is definitely real. You know, we can't pretend these things aren't happening in the world. We can acknowledge them. We can be aware to help inform our decision making and then we can focus our effort on something more positive. Um, I've been having great feedback for those of you that have signed up to the um, the dog course that Timo and I have released on how to home prepare healthy, raw or cooked food for your dogs. That's been really positive because, again, I've been, you know, so much, so many people when you're doing something for one of your pets or for someone else, it has so many knock on benefits for yourself as well. So when you do something to help someone else, whether it's an animal in your care or someone in the community or whatever, it gives you such a high. So that's been really exciting. Um, what else have I been up to? I've been doing lots of work with the elephants in Zambia, which is just so rewarding because the keepers there are an absolute inspiration on how to really live in the present moment and devote yourself to helping others less fortunate than you. And they're such positive people. They work so hard. What they do for these rescued orphan elephants is just off the scale. So there's always someone or something worse off than you. And when you put your attention to helping those, everything around you shifts. So I've been doing lots of that. I've been doing lots with my animals. I'm just looking at there now because my horses are out in the um, the lawn. I've got to go and feed the 5,000 in a minute. Um, so that's been really positive. Um, I've been getting lots of comments with my videos saying that have I got spirits floating behind me? Normally, I've all, I've just mine's just gone out now. I've normally got my sage stick or my incense stick burning, so it doesn't mean I haven't got spirits floating around me. Perhaps I have, but if you see smoke and things wafting, don't worry, it's my incense sticks or my sage. But perhaps that's pointing out to things behind me. I don't know. This office has got a wonderful, wonderful feel to it. And so if there are things there, I'm really, really happy to say that they're good entities, not, not anything to worry about. So just a really quick one. Please go and watch Mel Kay on either my Catherine Edwards Live or my BitChute channel. I will put the links low as it stops. Do something really positive for yourself. Um, it's really, really important. So, you know, whatever uplifts you, whoever uplifts you, spend some time with them. If you're struggling in any way or feeling losing purpose or losing a bit of help, ask for help because time and time again, it comes back. Um, as soon as we ask, there's so much out there, depending what your belief systems are. Um, friends on the human form, um, fairies, angels, whatever your beliefs are, they are there ready to help you, but you have to ask for their help often. So reach out and ask for help and see who comes into your life to do that. And very importantly, this is the time to stay strong, folks. We're not going to give up now. We are really doing a very good job. Everyone in their own little way, what every little step you're taking, um, you know, this really is the time to stay strong. Um, so if you're faltering a bit, reach out to someone that can boost your energy up. Um, one other thing I've been sharing a bit more this week is some of the health tips, because when you keep yourself physically in balance, it's amazing how much difference that makes. So I'm, I'm doing a series on the animal side of things for health and also the human side of things. So I'm going to be doing weekly sessions for those people that want to know about how to perhaps rebalance their health because I know from a lot of friends and people that I correspond with that a lot of people feel that perhaps their physical body has taken a bit of a hit over the last year because they've got into some bad habits so I'm going to be sharing some great things to help with that. So have a lovely weekend everyone wherever you are really upset that yet again I can't see the comments um you know it's hit and miss and it's not just me it's it's loads of people that are having this problem so um please don't think I'm being rude by not responding to you 
And anyone that's got any suggestions of things that I can do to help in any way, please do feel free to contact me through the contact form on my website, which is www.catherineedwards.life. Lots of love. Brilliant weekend. Onwards and upwards, everyone. Speak soon. Thank you.